Toy News. Several Louisville agencies spent the day assessing Russell Lee Park one day after a coach and a two-year-old girl had to be rescued from a 14-foot hole there after he dove in to try to save her. Good evening and welcome to Wave 3 News at 5. I'm Scott Reynolds. Wave 3 News reporter Cedra Mayfield joins us now live from the park. And Cedra, what's being done to fix that problem out there? Members of Metro Parks and Recreation have teamed with the Metro Sewer District to fill that 14-foot hole. Now this sectioned off area is what remains. You can see where a soil has been laid down. Beneath that, the hole has been filled with rocks. Now starting at 8 this morning, crews with both agencies came back out to Russell Lee Park to begin assessing the safety level of the land by checking for additional holes. Workers sectioned off depressions with caution tape and even dug holes themselves to test probe what lied beneath. While Thursday, scare has got the community talking park staff say given the aging infrastructures beneath the ground finding holes is not all that uncommon but this does not appear at this time to be a sewer back in may we had uh, an area in algonquin park in the parking lot where there was a sewer line that collapsed and a big area in the park collapsed three weeks ago at the top of iroquois park hill we had some uh a washout area that eroded the road and the road collapsed in a small area so i mean these do crop up from time to time Park staff say they're teaming with MSD to come up with a long-term solution. In the meantime, this park remains closed until further notice. Coming up on Way 3 News at 6 o'clock, an inside look at what it's like to be down inside that 14-foot hole and why park staff say the hole went untreated. That's ahead for now. We're live from Russell Lee Park, Central Mayfield, Wave 3 News. All right, thanks for the updates.